Shalom, shalom. First form of hope, get started. I like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikakadash, and the one see those great millstones, while lunch is true. And also to the old elect that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to spare the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of today's lesson is, Though They Dig Into Hell. So I like to say, Shalom, to all I just learned. Hope this swept you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Before we start the lesson, we will get a quick precept, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 53. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven and though she should fortify the heights of her strength, yet from me uh, shall spoilers come upon her, says the Lord Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And not about Babylon, we're talking about what? America. Babylon the Great. And not about even though it's a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Also, it is the, what, the hammer of the whole earth. But not about the, what? The most proud. And not about even though we know that they are the number one superpower. But the Lord's getting ready to bring this place down with that fervent heat. And not about this place is getting ready to be totally destroyed. And not about those spoilers are what? Those IDC on miss, Those destroying winds. You know, from who? From Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord is getting ready to destroy this place in what? In one hour. So that about we already knowing that they have these so-called doom day uh, bunkers. They think they're going to rise out of the ashes. You know, start this new world order out of all the chaos. You know what I'm saying? All the death and destruction. They think they're going to uh, rise up. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and uh, 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 like a rebirth. You know, so they think that they're going to what? Rule forever, but that's about their imagine a vain thing, and not about the next superpower what is coming, and in, in the new world order what is coming is the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness, and not about we're at the end of a what of earth age, and not about Esau is the end of this earth age, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So we know that they constantly prepare, you know. So when all hell break loose, they're going into their uh their uh uh, uh underground bunkers, you know, digging into hell, you know, into the ground, and not about we'll get that in a minute. But anyway, we know that they imagine that vain thing, you know, they already have uh, plenty of supplies and everything, but hey, they, they imagine the rude thing, they day has come and now that judgment is upon them, they get ready to go into slavery for a thousand years after a thousand years, they get ready to be totally destroyed, they are the wrath fitted for destruction and now everybody, they constantly, you know talking great words against Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh, speaking all sorts of blasphemy, want to be the most high, you know what I'm saying saying that they, you know, they have found immortality, and now everybody constantly, you know what I'm saying you don't think he is uh, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh, Yahweh, but everybody, you know, he is the most proud, and the Lord's getting ready to cut him off forever. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is Though They Dig Into Hell. So I have one short video, and after the video, we'll start the lesson, and I hope that you will get edified. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand? We're under the streets of Helsinki, the capital of Finland, and I'm going to show you the elaborate tunnels and passageways they have. A lot of it is public space that looks like you can see the granite rock and the, the fact that this space could be turned into bedding for 1,500 people. Here we go. So it is going to get completely 
completely dark. So if you need a light, tell me I'll turn it on. I guess you have a little light. I have a little light. Okay, there we go. Let's turn it outside. That way you can see how fast we're going. So you see what I'm talking about. You know, I had went on cut it right there because it's going to go into something else that is not pertaining to the lesson. So you're seeing that they're planning, you know what I'm saying? Their, uh, their escape, you know what I'm saying? But there is no escaping the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I'd about, you know, hey, someone got to pay for these crimes. And I'd about, the Lord's getting ready to return, set everything back into order. And I'd about, so he's constantly, you know, uh, getting ready to fill his belly, getting ready to try to perform this enterprise, order out of chaos, all this death and destruction. He thinks he's going to rise up out of the ashes. He's going to rise up, but into what? Slavery. And I'd about, hey, man, we cannot wait. The Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. So now, Let's start today's lesson in uh, Amos, Amos chapter, the title of today's lesson. Let's go to Amos, just a quick lesson through the Spirit. And once again, I hope that you will get edified. Amos chapter, uh, Amos chapter 9 and verse 2, we'll start there. And it reads, said, though they dig into hell, said, thence uh, shall my hand take them. Though they uh, climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. And how about even though they, you know, they build these, uh, military uh, uh uh bunkers under underground these uh luxury uh bunkers in the mountains uh underwater retreats the lord said you know his hands will bring them down and who is those hands the mighty man you know what i'm saying the angels also the what his uh the 144 you know what i'm saying right now they are what fisher but they will they get ready what they become hunters very soon through the what spirit and power yahweh by Hashem yahweh and also it says here it said and though they climb up into heaven which in fact get up into the uh into the uh, uh uh the heavens into the atmosphere up there where they put their satellites they what uh so called space stations and like that Lord said I will bring them down so Lord's getting ready to bring everything down that Esau has you know what I'm saying he's gonna bring his whole rulership down so when you look up the word of uh, hell let's go look up the word hell get a little bit more understanding on hell so they dig into hell but we talk we're talking about the what the uh the ground you know what I'm saying uh, the, you know a lot of people or the grave, you know, but we get a little bit more understanding of it, right? Going, we're gonna go into the uh, the root word, uh, Amos uh, 9 and 2. Let's look up the uh, let's look up the definition of the animality of uh, of hell, Salaki Strong's H 7585, Sheol, Sheol, and second entry, Sheol, Sheol. So, you know, hell mean what? Sha'ol, Sha'ol. So let's look up the Hebrew uh, meaning of uh, of hell. Uh, Sha'ol, Sha'ol. One moment. Let's go here. Let's drop down to, let's right here. Let's drop down to the Hebrew uh, meaning of it. The Hebrew uh, version. It says, uh, uh, Sha'ol, the underworld, grave, hell, uh, pit. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what else it has. But that's 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 what I wanted, the, under, the, the grave. You know what I'm saying? Meaning the what? The ground. You know what I'm saying? That you're digging into the ground or underground. You know what I'm saying? So you're seeing that, you know, that's the one that I wanted right there. Let's see what the uh, strong de definition say. You see, Shaol, the underworld. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's saying that, you know, the, the underworld, like talking about that, uh, the second death. But with, with that about it, you know, hell, you know what I'm saying? It's also its condition. You know, but that's a whole nother lesson. You know what I'm saying? It said, wickedness sent there for punishment. But let's go to the um, let's go here to uh, the Strong's uh, definition of it. Let's see what we got here. Shaol. Let's see what I want. I don't want Hades. None of this here. Let's see what I want. This this right here said grave, hell, a pit. You know what I'm saying? So they're digging down into what? Into hell. They mean they are digging into the what? The ground. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you die, you go back into the what? The earth. You know so where you came from. So so you can get an understanding. So they building these under under uh the underground uh retreats but that about it hey but the lord is gonna uh gonna cut them off forever you know what i'm saying so it there's no escaping the hands of yahweh by shim yahweh shah so now let's start back back up again amos chapter 9 and verse 2 said though they dig into hell or into the what the ground the grave uh thence uh shall my hand take them uh take them you know though they climb up to heaven thence will i bring them down you know what I'm saying? So wherever they are 
are it, the Lord is going to what? Going to bring them down. You know, the Lord is getting ready what? To cut Esau off forever. You know what I'm saying? And that's about we cannot wait. Verse 3, he said, and though they hide themselves in the top of, of, of camels, I will search and take them out. This, and, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, this will I command the serpent and he shall bite them. And I'd about to talk about what? Leviathan. You know what I'm saying? I'd about, you know, so it's no escape in the hands of Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? Even in these what? Mountain retreats. Hey, man. I don't care what they try to think of or where they're going to try to hide. You know what I'm saying? The, the, what, the, the Lord's uh, eyes are what? 10 times, uh, 10 times, 10,000 times brighter than, you know what I'm saying? Than, than what? Than man. Hey, man. We are here, man. Hey, man. So they, they imagine the vain thing. His day has come. Hey, man. Hey, man. You got to pay, baby. We had to pay. What was done to us is getting ready to be done to you. Amos chapter 9 and verse 4 says, And though they go into captivity before their enemies, this will I command the soul, and it shall slay them. And I will set my eyes upon them for evil and not for good. Whoo! Esau, you got hell to pay. You know what I'm saying? The one that led us into captive shall go into captive. You know, Revelation chapter what? Uh, 13 and verse 10. And also uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter 35, you know, it says that, you know, since thou hast not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee. And I've asked that soul, you know what I'm saying? So that everybody, hey, what was done to us? It's getting ready to be done to them. So let's go here. But right now, he's walking in great pride. He's speaking what? Great things against Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. You know, you can't tell him anything. But he's the basis of men. He's getting ready to return back to that lower state. The original cave, man. He's getting ready to go back into that state. Hey, man. We cannot wait. The Lord is a master. Chess player. Let's go here. Just a very quick lesson. Uh, Isaiah chapter. One moment. Let's go to Isaiah chapter. Uh, 2, Isaiah chapter 2 and verse, let's start up at verse 11. Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 11. <laughs> one moment, one moment. And it reads, said, the lofty looks of man shall be humble and the haughtiness of men shall be brought, brought, I uh, mean, bowed down and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. In that day, they shall know that the Lord, you know what I'm saying, that, that he is the Lord. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Verse 12. For the day of the Lord of hosts, our armies shall be upon every one that is proud. Esau, Edom, and these heathen nation, and also these two there that is proud and, and lofty, and upon every one that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Hey, man, the Lord's getting ready. Hey, do a mighty work, man. The Lord's getting ready to cut all our enemies off forever, and we cannot wait. Woo! Let's get a quick precept here. Let's go to Daniels. Let's go here to Daniels. One moment, Daniel chapter, one moment, let me find it. Still getting used to this uh, uh, blue letter Bible. Uh, Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25. One moment, Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25. One moment, got to scroll down one moment. One moment. <clears throat> one moment. And it reads, say, and he shall speak great words against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high and think to change times and laws and they shall be given unto him unto unto his hands until a time and times and dividing of time and now about who's speaking great words esau edom you know what i'm saying talking about his pseudo sign his ai you know what i'm saying his his robots you know what I'm saying? He's not going to use that sword in vain, but he's constantly what? Imagine a vain thing. And I'm speaking blasphemy against Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh saying like he is the most high. Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh said, you know, he is the most pride. You know what I'm saying? You know, he feel that he cannot be touched, but the Lord's getting ready to touch him. And he's getting ready what? to take that sword out of his hand. because He was the one that gave it to him. And I'm about, hey man, the Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. And also he shall wear out the same. What? With what? Oppression. You know what I'm saying? With all sorts of uh, inequality. You know what I'm saying? All sorts of unrighteous decrees. You know what I'm saying? Constantly wearing us out each and every day. Killing us in the street. But that about it. Oh, hey, but hey, it is payday. The Lord said, I repay, real, will repay. You know, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Hey, man. Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. So we're seeing that right now. You know what I'm saying? He's speaking great word. You know, you know, you can't tell him nothing. Walking in great pride. 
do thy will spirit. But that is about when the Lord show up, what are you going to do? Run into the cliffs and the rocks of the mouth. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be a coward. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord's going to send what? Send his hands. What? The mighty, the mighty men. Also what? The 140 folk. You know what I'm saying? And I'm hoping up part of that number. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord is getting ready to return. You know what I'm saying? And I'm he said he will what? Bathe his sword in what? I do me. The peace, the people of his curse. And that's uh, I do me is Greek for, uh, for Edom. We'll get that too. Let's go to uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 34. Isaiah chapter 34. We get that right quick. Isaiah chapter 34. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 34, and we'll start at verse 2. <clears throat> and it reads, For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. That means indignation means righteous anger. And his fury upon all their armies. He ha has utterly destroyed them. He has delivered them to the slaughter. Verse 3, Their, their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink uh, shall come up out of their carcass. And and the mountains shall be melted uh, with their blood. Verse 4, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all of their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off uh, from the vine, as, and, and as a falling fig from a fig tree. So this is giving you a, well, a representation of those IBCM missiles. When they pelvic the earth and out about, you know, when they said that uh, like a straw rolled together like a straw, that is giving you a, uh, 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 giving you a, uh, a, de a depletion of a mushroom cloud. When those uh, IBCM missiles explode and that big mushroom, uh, mushroom cloud come up and it, 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 it it was it engulfed like a uh, rolled together like a what a stroll, you know what I'm saying? So you know they was in ancient times, so they described it the best way that they could, you know what I'm saying? I, in Isaiah times. So, but one thing about it is that the Bible is spot on, and I about is talking about a nuclear what uh, a holocaust, you know what I'm saying? A nuclear exchange. The Lord's gonna lay all our enemies down, you know, with that what fervent heat, the ending nation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Child. Verse 5 said, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Greek for what? Edom. Esau, Edom, the so called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. And I'm about to say, the Lord's getting ready to judge Esau. You know what I'm saying? For all the crimes, all the innocent blood, all the rape and stealing and killing. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's getting ready to repay him. And I'm about to say, we had to pay. He's getting ready to pay. He's getting ready to what? To drink of the cups. And I'm about to say, the dreads of the cup. Or what? Oppression. You know, slavery. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Hey, hey. It's fast to approach. Hey, man. And we cannot wait. We are, we are what? We constantly rejoice. Let's get one more. Let's go to Lamentation chapter 4. That cup getting ready to pass to him. You know what I'm saying? Though he dig into hell, it ain't going to do him no damn good. Go. He's getting ready to go into slavery. We getting ready to put them chains on. Uh, uh, oh, uh, let's go here to Lamentation. One moment. Lamentation chapter four. Lamentation chapter four. And we'll start about 21. Yeah, he walking in great pride right now. You know what I'm saying? A hammer of the whole earth. But he's in for a rule to work. Every hand of the wicked and get ready to return. They get ready what? to burn the whore. And we cannot wait. The Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. Uh, Lamentation chapter 4 and verse 21. One moment. And it said, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. The cup also shall pass uh, through unto thee, though, uh, though uh, th th thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Verse 22. The punishment of thy iniquity uh, is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sin right now. You know, the Lord is what? Discovering this, this, the sins of what? Esau, Edom. You know what I'm saying? He's making him what? Barren, and barren. And also, he's removing the covering cast. Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 7. And out of body, say, he's getting ready to what? To drink the dregs of the cup. And out of body, he's getting ready to go into slavery. You know what I'm saying? The one that killeth with the sword shall be killed with the sword. The one that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led us into captivity? You know what I'm saying? On those what slave ship, the what? The uh the transatlantic uh uh slave trade. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, hey man, we we we're here. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, the Bible's spot on. So 
So that about he's rejoicing right now. He's trying to do what to perform his enterprise, his agenda. You know what I'm saying? His plan. What is that plan? The new world order. You know what I'm saying? This global reset, this digital society, the C hip, the RFD microchip. All these things get ready to work hand in hand. But that about the Lord's getting ready to return and destroy him. And we cannot wait. So rejoice ye heaven. So now let's go to our last and final script. Let's go to Revelation chapter. That's New T New Testament. Revelation chapter uh uh six. Revelation chapter 6, we'll close out here. Revelation chapter 6, and we'll start up at verse 14. Revelation chapter 6 and verse 14. One moment. And it reads, And the heaven departed as a scroll when it rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. What caused it? You know, those IBCM missiles, the indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh That what destroying wind. They're going to de destroy this place. You know what I'm saying? Won't be nothing left here. No inhabitant left here. In one hour, thy judgment come. The Lord's getting ready to destroy Babylon the Great, which in fact is what America. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is, is done with this place. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, this is getting ready to be a burnt offering. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we cannot wait. Woo, we cannot wait. Verse 15. And, and the kings and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens of the rocks of the mountain. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, they what? What's cowards? You know what I'm saying? All the what? The military, all the, the great men and rulers, you know, the governors, you know what I'm saying? All of them what hid themselves in the dens. You know what I'm saying? Why did they do that? Because well, you finna find out. Verse 16. And and said to the mountains and, and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. And I'd buy, you know, they wanted, wanted to hide because what? They seen a Negro man from the tribe of Judah. You know what I'm saying? Yahawashai, our Lord and Savior, and our great deliverer, the king of the universe. The, the people that uh he they constantly been what killing all day long, you know, oppressing. You know what I'm saying? They're going to look at a, a person that, you know, that they call African America, uh, uh, so called black peoples in America, which in fact we are the Hebrew Israelite. But that about it is that, you know, he going to look just like us. And I'd buy it, they're going to be a great fear is going to fall upon them. And I'd buy it, they're already going to know, hey, their time is up, their day has come, and we cannot wait. Woo! The Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. So <clears throat> let's read that again. Verse uh, 16, Revelation chapter 6 and verse 16. And, and said to the mountains and the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne and from the wrath uh, of the Lamb, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 17, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? No one. You know what I'm saying? In that day, the Lord's getting ready to be exalted. And out of the body, you know what I'm saying? In that day, you're going to know the true names of the heavenly father. The great king that sits on the throne is Yahweh, and our Lord and Savior. And the king of the universe is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. He's getting ready to return and lay all our enemies down. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's getting ready, hey man, to bring that sword, the indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And also, when you go to Jeremiah chapter uh Jeremiah chapter uh, 16 and verse 16, you know what I'm saying? The fishers are getting ready to become hunters. You know what I'm saying? They're getting ready to hunt them. You know, let's get that. Let's close out with that. Let's go to Jeremiah. We'll close out with that. Jeremiah chapter, we close out here. Jeremiah chapter, oh my, let's go to the Old Testament. Jeremiah chapter 16, and I think it's verse 16, if I'm not mistaken, one moment. Still learning how to work this app. A little slow, but uh, we're going we're gonna to work it out. Uh Jeremiah chapter 16. Let me find you. I did go Jeremiah. It's right there. Jeremiah chapter 16 uh, and verse 16. We'll close out here. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16. We'll close out here. The ones that he's been oppressing, we get ready, we get ready to hunt them very soon. The prophets. Woo, man. Hoping we hoping that we're part of that number. That you know what I'm saying? The elect. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm telling you, man. We cannot wait. Uh, verse 16, it reads that, uh, Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16 said, Behold, I will send for many fishers, says the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the 
holes and of the rocks out of those what? Bunkers, out of those mountain retreats, out of those underwater retreats, out of those underground what? Uh, uh, luxury uh, uh, bunkers. You know what I'm saying? Them doomsday preppers. We coming for you, Esau. And out about it, hey man, yo, hey, your time is up. And out about it, and who are those fishers right now are fishing right now? Those are the men of the Lord. And out about it, we trying to what? The prophets, you know what I'm saying? That, that's uh, in the highways and the byways. Constantly what? Doing the Lord's will. You know, standing on our watch each and every day and stand on fire for Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh. We trying to what? Seal the elect and we're out of here. The Lord's going to bring that what? Those destroying wind. Those IBCM milks. Though they dig into hell, they, hey, they imagine a rude thing. You know what I'm saying? Because there is no escape in the hands of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh. Shai. And out about we getting ready to hunt them from Every place they imagine to go, we will find them and put them in chain. They're going into slavery for a thousand years. We cannot wait. Rejoice ye heaven. So let's read that one more time. We'll close out. Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16. It said, Behold, I will send for many fishers, says the Lord, and they shall uh, fish them, the prophets, and after, and after the 144 also, and, and after the elect, and after will I send for many hunters. You know what I'm saying? Out about you know when we get those what new bodies. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, what dang about it? But we cannot wait. Immortality, rulership, spiritual power is right around the corner. When the enemy come in like a flood, the Lord is getting ready to lift up a standard. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19. And they shall hunt them from every mountain, from all those what bunkers, a mountain retreat, underwater retreat. You know what I'm saying? And also Leviathan is going to be hunting too. And from every hill and out of the holes. Of the rocks and out about under underground what uh, uh uh bunkers those what you call dumbs you know what I'm saying out about you know those fortresses and out about hey man we gonna tell us come on out Esau it's over with baby the game is hey it's over with baby hey man it's our time to rule and out about one thing about it, the Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work the Lord is getting ready to return and all our enemies get ready to be laid down and all we must do is constantly hold on you know what I'm saying the same that endure the same shall be said keep the faith keep pushing. Keep believing. And I about hey man, the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It is faster approach. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is Though They Dig Into Hell. So I like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rikakadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.